Hello, hello, hello. How are we all doing today? Hope we're all doing well. Let's get into the live screen. Hope everything works. Hey, it's working. So today, I don't know why this is still up. This shouldn't. This this bit up top shouldn't still be up. This bit up here shouldn't still be there, but it, it it's there. Uh, today we're going to be flying the Dassault Falcon 7X, which I'm hoping I can take off. Slightly concerned. Luckily, it's not too foggy, so it's it's it should be flyable. Um, slightly concerned about the what the hell kind of. Okay, it wants me to take off of that runway, okay. Um, yeah, this is going to be an interesting one. <laughs> for sure. Um, I want to get the APU running, and I can't remember what the control is for it over here. Let's see if I can find the APU control. APU. Where is the APU? APU should be coming online. If you're running, oil pressure, fuel pressure, brake, that's fine. Apparently I got the thrust reverses on, which I don't want. Um, we're gonna want to tune in too, if I can find a radio. Big Chungus, thanks for subscribing. Where's the radio? So happens I have one have two, which means the radio should be over here. Ah, VHF. Um, yeah, Lima, Foxtrot, Charlie, Golf, Airport Information, Delta, one seven five nine, Zulu, Weather, Wind, two seven seven at nine, Visibility, one zero thousand, Sky Condition, Few Clouds at one thousand three hundred, Ceiling, three thousand one hundred, Overcast, Temperature, one two, Dew Point, seven, QNH, one zero two seven, Advice on initial contact you have information. Delta Lima. What is one zero two seven? Come on, that's one zero two seven is three zero oh, three three. We go. Hey, Chris. Done. So I'm gonna set speed of about 150 knots. Um, still don't know why that's like that, but it is. L E S E U. Next. Only two one, so I'll just say two one zero, I guess. There we go. Uh, I'll just select. We're gonna go up to thirty seven thousand just for funsies. Yeah, we should be good to start the engines. Start with engine two. You just subscribed. Ryan Quinn, thank you very much for subscribing. Welcome to the Rainbow Day Madhouse. Hope you enjoy your stay. I can hear engine 2 coming online, but I'm not hearing it, uh... I'm not seeing the N2 and 1 rise. Which is slightly concerning. N2 is also not rising, why? Hey, 
There we go, engine one, engine two is now coming online. Oh, that's why. I haven't given any of the engines fuel. Hey, the Adventures of Argos. Frankie Ditcher as well. So that's engine two online. We'll set engines one and three to go online side by side here, hopefully. Let's get engine one going. And bleeds are on, all that kind of stuff. Yep. And engine three can come online. Three engines are good. Maybe you can come off now. And we can start taxiing. Let's get our taxi lights on. And just get these lights up. Um. Okay, so parking brake can come off, and we can hopefully get on the move here. Gonna want the flight director on. Elnav and Vnav. Prepared. Have I gone in the wrong direction here? I feel like I've got another... Yeah, I've gone further from the runway. That's not what I wanted to do. Let's just taxi back in this direction. That was a, a bit of a mistake on my part there. It happens. So our first flight today is from uh, the Andorran airport. Up here in, uh, ooh, pretty. Up here in northern Spain to Madrid. It's looking like we're gonna have to taxi effectively the length of the runway here, which isn't ideal. Want to verify? Approaching zero three. Yeah, the other one was two one. So I'm just gonna spin us around here. Better late than never, exactly. Get 
I guess this is a j I don't know why my, uh... This window's staying up. But it is refusing to go down. No entry. Well... Surely if you wanted to get onto the runway, you'd use the high speed to get on. Approaching zero three. Unless this is a single in, single out runway. Luckily, we're flying in the direction that doesn't have huge mountains. What car is this? That's a radical. Interesting. Uh, on runway zero three. Choice nine by the model there. meters remaining. Flaps. Flaps. Let's go. Position one for the flaps. Uh, air brakes are fine. Everything's fine. So this is going to be a pretty fast plane. We, we are flying a trijet today. So we've got uh, three stonking great engines behind us. As you can see, so it shouldn't be uh, too too painful of a journey. They're all low bypass engines, though, which I'd, I'm not sure if I like that or not. Okay, so let's get this into the turning circle here. Approaching two, one. I'm going to want to use as much of the runway as I can, so we're going to just uh, try and do a minimal distance line up here. On runway two, one. That hasn't worked at all. <laughs> but let's... Uh, going here hopefully hopefully I probably should have put in another notch of flaps 300 meters remaining 100 remaining 30 remaining caution yeah. on taxiway <laughs> on taxiway That wasn't at all terrifying. I might have to hand fly this the entire way to Madrid. Told me to use the Ceres. I decided not to use the Ceres. It's fine.
and grand all max like they've all been grounded Carl every single max worldwide has been grounded by the FAA Um, and rightly so for consumer confidence, basically, for passenger confidence. Uh, thank you very much, Paddy. Sorry for being crap with uh, spotting chat messages. And <laughs> takeoff roll is always a bit uh, unnerving. Up at 1600 feet per minute. We can zoom this out and see where we're going here. Oh. oh, I can change that to inches. Hey. I'm feeling today um, pretty good. I'm feeling pretty good. And suddenly we have plus five subscribers today. <laughs> so this is uh, the Result Falcon 7X from I don't know who, but it's on the forums. It works reasonably well. Some of the textures are a bit low res. Just gonna let just gonna put that out there. Some of the textures on this are a bit low res. This car, however, is insanely high res. This, uh, I believe it's a radical, is very high res. Hey Nathan. Turn off the fasten seatbelt sign now, and we're good. I'm not sure we'll actually get to thirty-seven thousand feet, but damn it, I'll try. Can increase speed now to we'll say three hundred indicated. Hey Sean. Hayden, do you know why my um fly with the lure thing isn't going away? just refused to uh, drop off the screen today for some reason. Let's go to the external circle view to have a look at this. Uh, the exterior model I feel is a bit better than the interior model in this. It is quite pretty indeed. What's it saying? Well, I tried bringing up VATSIM to try and get rid of it and it's just I try. I tried loading into X Squawk Box to get rid of it, and it's it's now just showing all the Vatsim stuff, and there's no seemingly no errors in the logs. So I'm I'm quite very confused.
We're at 22,000 feet and those mountains still seem quite close. Quite unnervingly close, in fact. Hang on, let me, let me step in here and just deal with the, uh, the problem. Dealt with! <laughs> yeah, don't come on an alternate account trying to get your, your account banned, dude. Don't pretend to be somebody you're not. Let's leave the passenger smoke. It's highly illegal, but let's do it anyway. Has my day been? Um, I slept most of it. I went over to the garage to try and pick up something uh, from the deli about five o'clock, and the deli was empty, so I got a pot of instead. Um, <laughs> I feel like that was a worthwhile thing to do. Oh, there's no deli food. Pot noodle. You hate the windy season. You'd hate Ireland because it's always windy. It is literally always windy here. Can you do the pot noodle now? Yeah, you see? Getting ahead of the curve there. Got pot noodles before they were cool. Kevin, you've just landed in Cyprus. Very nice. Excited for Seabreak tonight. I wanted to watch qualifying yesterday, but I couldn't find a single dodgy link for it. And I don't want to, like... Wind's gusting 50 knots. Yes! That's just... that That's like a Thursday in Ireland. I couldn't find a single link for the um, Sebring qualifying. Which really frustrated me. Because I'm not, I'm not paying like... 8 euro to watch the race... Tonight, when I'm gonna miss... A couple of hours of it through the stream. Um, so I'll try and find a link after the stream. Unless you can find one for me, Yanis, that'd be very much appreciated and throw them to the admin room on Discord. I did watch a bit of the Formula 1 practice uh, last night, though, and that was... Why is my... I'll select disagreeing. Possibly something to do with me still having the barrel set to 3033. Um, I want to just pop into Active Sky real quick and get some weather loaded in here. Flight plan, load. And it's Leslie Lemmed. Going on bedotato mode. Okay. Sean, hello. Please don't try and get people unbanned because you'll probably end up getting banned yourself. So we're actually currently higher than most um, airliners crews. Just for an idea of altitude, you know, 32,000 feet is where most of them now cruise between 32 and 35. Um, on relatively long distance flights, but we're going up to 37. Just for that maximum height. How do I earn subs? I don't, generally. Um, <laughs> uh, you put out content that people want to watch, and if they want to watch more from you, they'll subscribe. That's generally what happens. Both free practice shows microphone nonsense for our Sam Bacon. They also show that Williams are about five seconds off the pace, which is... <laughs> that, I mean, uh, 
Have I had a haircut? No, I went for a shower yesterday though, so that might be it. I look particularly fat today, I've just realised. I don't know why I look, pr like, fatter than usual. Where can you find the world tour map? Exclamation mark root. Into the chat. Dave shower the wheel! Uh, anybody can use the root command, by the way. It's not limited to just mods. So we're currently on the Spanish leg, the Endor to Spain leg, and I need to... Uh, what's my ground speed currently at? 442. Because I got a 43 knot headwind. This mesh I've got for Europe is amazing. Holy cow, that looks pretty. Let's reduce our indicated speed down to about 260. Actually, 270 will be fine. Yeah, that's Mach uh, 0.83, roughly. Which is, in fact, slightly faster than airliners tend to cruise. They tend to cruise at Mach 0.82. Then you won't be happy to see it at 7. Why not? Standard, please. So I'm going to start uh, setting up for descent here. Uh, runway approach star. Okay, so I gotta do it through this. Uh, pro. Swap to that. That's seemingly not working, so I'll just check what Madrid are using in real life at the moment. Um, flight Radar 24. One of the most useful resources for flight planning. Madrid... Are you using... The 1.8s. Uh, so let's go... Well, let's 1 8 left Yankee. Um, where the Terse of 4 Echo. Okay, we can't use the Terse of 4 Echo. So let's use the Toledo. Well. Why can't I use the Terse of 4 Echo? It's going to be like 6,000 most likely for the transition level. We're going to want to start descending comically very soon. Um, probably once we hit up by uh, Comke here. There we go. Hey, Glinger. We've played FSX. I have FSX. Um, used to be FSX guy. Okay. Fact check, thank you for that. Clear the approach. The approach has been cleared.
Uh, uh, I'm doing good. I'm in a good mood today. I'm gonna get uh, three flights done today because I've got basically unlimited time to stream. So let's get Avi Tab up for uh, LEMD. Lee Mac on Mike Delta, and we're gonna want the approach. At a Yankee 18 left, one eight left. And the airport diagram as well. Which is going to be here somewhere. There we go. So, the one I had left approach is going to be at 4,000. Transition altitude is at 1, 3,000? Good lord, okay. So I'm gonna need to reset this. Uh, one, three, zero. It's a very high transition altitude. Um, RIS, one, one, one point, one, one, one decimal five. Uh, so we'll just swap to that. Set it into one decimal five there as well. Should be a DME. Uh, can't change that. Um, so that to Tara. Okay. And why has the autopilot decided to take me off on a weird tangent here? Why has this happened? Let's go direct LSAP. Which is not letting me do. Okay, let's go straight to Zaragoza. What's going on here? Direct Seedle. I'm in the air. I'm not entirely sure why this is happening. Um, let's go 180. Land somewhere random. No, I'm going to be landing in Madrid. I'm going to be landing in Madrid, Barajas. Why is it not letting me... Okay, so that leg is complete. Ooh. 
Why is it not letting me... change legs? Start descending now to... Uh, 115,000. So we'll go vertical speed and just do a generic minus 1,000 feet per minute descent. And I am going to swap to the Cirrus after this because uh, this Falcon is a bit confusing. Also up to the Cirrus jet for the uh, Madrid to to um, well, hello, Madrid to Lisbon leg. I have to vector myself the entire way to Madrid. I'm doing, today. I'm doing good today. I'm in a good mood. I've had a pot and noodle for breakfast. Look at that wind farm! Just a... a, a line of... Squ squadron in formation of wind turbines. Hayden, if you're still listening, why the hell is my autopilot not working? I may need to restart X-Plane after this flight just so that I can figure stuff out. Thinking about going to truck driving school. I mean, you're only allowed to do that if you have at least one truck and cap. And a Peterbilt. It has to be a Peterbilt truck and cap. So it's, it's the law. I'm also not too sure if my Madrid scenery is actually working as it should, so I'm slightly concerned about this. Um, approach and landing. Is Nav 1 set to FMS GPS mode? How do I set Nav 1 here? Um, I mean... There's no, seemingly no way to set this to FMS GPS, it's just... And it worked fine up to... See, here's the thing. It worked fine up to Vakin. And now it's, like, the FMS isn't even letting me change things. It's, say, it's saying all entries are invalid. Um, which shouldn't be the case. So it's, something's gone wrong seemingly with the... Uh, how Explain wants to work today. Also, these are some pretty severe turns for 33,000 feet. So getting food to together, fair enough. So it should actually be like a... Yeah, we'll go 205 here. I'm just gonna vector myself. more down. Uh, 
Uh, let's go with... 1650 seems reasonable. We can get our speed up to 300 knots here. On the old indicator, just get a bit of speedies. Those circles, we've got contrails gone. We do! A wonderful triple contrail. I could be really cheeky and just vector myself way out so that, um... In fact, it was set to FFS1, which makes it even more confusing. Like, if I go LNAV here... What's it gonna do? I'm kinda curious. It's just bringing me out in a random direction. Let's go back to heading. Track hold. We're in a bit of an offset. Down now on. I turned down now on to turn me in a random direction. Leave it on now now. Fine, we'll, we'll just fly in a random direction then. Because the active leg is showing here. It's between dermo and discontinuity. Of discontinuity... On, on that, no discontinuity here. Like from Dermot's Vacuum Seed Lukonki, and I can't. I can't get rid of the Vacuum. Like, Vacuum is the discontinuity. And if I execute. Like, I can't. Cancel mod. I can't make Terse of the active um, point here. Like the problem is with with Vakin. Like, it's just flying me, for some reason, um, northwest. Because I can't find Vakin, and there's nothing I can do. There's seemingly nothing I can do to get me to, to get it to go to bloody Tarsa. So all I can do is vector myself in the hopes that I'll eventually make it to the airport. It was something that happened in the air, Hayden! It's it's this waypoint. The the vacuum waypoint is just broken in this plane for some reason. It's not an issue with the um, the discon or anything. It's 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 this waypoint is just broken. Direct. All right, let's go direct intercept. Okay. To Tursa. Still showing back in. Tursa, 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 Tursa. Intercept. Still showing. 
Okay, let's, let's hit that on our one. Tursa. Execute. And it's swinging me around northwest. Tursa is the button next to the word. Okay. And there's... Direct intercept. And... Wait, what? Okay, we now have Tursa set, but for some reason it thinks I'm coming from the south. Elnav's on. And we're conveniently going in the exact wrong direction. There is a problem with this plane. It is nothing to do with what I've got set in the FMC. FMC is saying we're going here. This map here, the GPS map, is saying we're going down here. We're actually going up in this direction. It's a convert. Yes, I know it's a convert from X Plane 9. It's still better than most. Of the, it still looks better than most of the planes you send. Right, we're just gonna vector. Vector to 180, please. 178 will do. Yeah, I'm going to stop to the series in Madrid. Um, because the series at least works. I'm also going to reset X-Plane because, um, Active Sky doesn't seem to be working correctly. Well, I'll do all that in Madrid. See, at least I'm using a relatively short leg to do to test this plane. Because now I know that I just need to delete the damn thing. It's useless. It is... Complete and utter junk. Um, in fact, I might talk to the Gulfstream. Knowing that if I shouldn't fire all the throttles, or I can't fire all the throttles in the Gulfstream. Um... I might talk to the Gulf Stream for the Lisbon leg to test that out. I'm assuming, by the way, that I have the Gulf Stream. Do I have the Gulf Stream? Should be in like GA, shouldn't it? Yeah, I've got the golf stream, so I'll test that in the uh, the next leg. And this is going to be kind of a weird test leg day. Because if the golf stream doesn't work, I'm kind of screwed for the uh, the longer legs that are upcoming. I will have to use the 737. Or a 747. <laughs> but th this is... One of these things that I should have done off camera, but please use the FMC in the Gulf Stream and have my route set up on the ground. I will use the FMC in the Gulf Stream and I will have my route set up on the ground. The problem was that the FMC in this, well, the, the entire system is in this is broken. Uh, 
Um, which honestly is the problem. What model Gulfstream is it? Gulfstream G4 SP. I'm just gonna set up an active sky real quick. Um, new aircraft. Gulfstream 4. Private. So home base. So booking. To Portela. Can I sim brief with this? I know sim brief has the Gulfstream 4. Generating that. Oh, good lord! Sim brief has the Gulfstream 4. Hey! Right, that's ready to go. Yeah, it's a, a GLF 4. It's just as easy in. Um, In uh, Project Fly to just Is there an approach mode on this? There is an approach mode on this. Let's go like two seventy ish. Two six six. We are quite close to Madrid now. Get down to seven thousand feet by vertical speed fifteen hundred feet per minute. Lag for anyone else. Um I, I don't know if there's lag. Are indicated down to 200. The reason that I'm testing this in the Gulfstream today is there are some quite long legs coming up that I will need 110% a long range jet in the Gulfstream, and this are the only two that I have that are GA. Um, long-range jets uh, and I need them to I need to test them if these both fail that I'm going to have to go look at payware and pay money that I don't want to pay um, or just use Zebo, which theoretically has the range um, so I'm gonna do is I'm just gonna look up is there Like, there's a Bombardier Challenger for the $35, which I could definitely do, but it's not ideal. I don't want this to be mostly GA. I know I've already done a 737 like Altimeter setting. Two. Yes, thank you for that. Um, come to think of it, do I have...
Was this the entire problem? Was that I didn't have that audible? Nope. Lima, Echo, Tango, Oscar, Airport Information, India, 1900, Zulu, Weather, Wind, 171 at 3, Visibility, 10000, Sky Clear, Temperature, 19, Dew Point, minus 2, QNH, 1024, Advice on Initial Contact, you have information, India. Oi! Lima, Echo, Tango, Oscar, Airport Information, India, 1900, Zulu, Weather, Wind, 171 at 3, Visibility, 10000, Temperature, 19, Dew Point, minus 2, QNH, 1024, Advice on Initial Contact, you have information, India, 3023, Echo, Tango, Oscar, Airport Information, India, 1900, Zulu, Weather, Wind, 171 at 3, Visibility, 10000, Yes, thank you. Shut up. Holy cow, the entire north of Europe's lit up again. And all three Irish airports have ATC online. Is there an event going on in, like, Ireland and the UK currently? Uh, do you have to pay for a lot of mods? Um, you have to pay for quality, basically. When you get free mods in X-Plane, you're running a bit of a gauntlet. Because um, some of them, like Zebo, are spectacularly good. Some of them, like this, are utterly atrocious. Go two one zero, please. It's a bit. Yeah, let's go two three zero, maybe two two seven will do. Because I want to set up an intercept at the ILS here. Okay, let's not use approach mode and just use heading track. Let's set this to... 8,000 feet. Yeah, this should take us in on a nice intercept at the, uh... Oh, yes. In fact, I'm gonna want to go... 240. 241 will fine. Just wanna... Scoot out to the west a small bit more. There's a nice little village. Right there. Yeah, most of the good aircraft for explaining you gotta buy. It's the same with any flight sim, like the good stuff is is all paid, so it's not like I came in, you know, I got bought explain thinking, oh I'll be able to get away with free bonds all the time. Explain and flight sims just in general are our hobbies. Um and with hobbies, you gotta pay for stuff. Um, and one of the things you gotta pay for is decent quality airplanes. Hayden, I'm gonna want uh, recommendations. Cheap recommendations from the store. Uh, if I decide I don't like the Gulfstream. How much the aircraft usually costs on the next plane? Anywhere between 20 and... F well, 
generally twenty and fifty dollars is the range, US. And then you've got some like uh, the super high quality Boeing's that are a hundred dollars. Um, there's some okay quality freeware or payware that's like less than twenty dollars, but usually that's not very good. Yeah, for anything decent, you're looking at, at kind of thirty dollars and above. Like, I'm, I'm not one of these people who say, "Oh, you can get away with super cheap stuff and explain." No, you can't. You really can't. Hey, quick. How's it going? It's going good. It'd be going better if this plane worked as, as well as I'd like, but... Uh, I'm kind of fine having to vector myself into the airport. Looks like I'm on a decent intercept heading. I'm going to want to go 210 at some point soon. Um, ideally to get onto a better intercept. Four zero is going to do me for a little while. If you broke map, you made lots of hills, made some of the road systems very nice. Ever try the fighters? No, I'm not a warbird kind of person. I like um, civilian craft a lot more. Civilians just a lot more comfortable for me. That they don't have so many complicated systems, and it's not as cramped. Generally speaking, Challenger three hundred, Eclipse five fifty and G system five hundred B. That's basically all of them. Like you've said, the citation. So the Citation, the Challenger, you haven't said the Phenom, which is fine because that's Carnado. Um, yeah, B PMDG are the worst. The, yeah, the Victory you said, the Hawker you said, I've been looking at the Hawker. That kind of looks interesting to me. Um, like, it's an interesting design. In fact, it's very embrary. The citation is Carnado, so the. Is it? So it is. It's got more range. And oh, that's a very pretty instrument cluster. That's a t that citation is a very pretty instrument cluster. Um, you didn't recommend the Pilatus, which is a bit interesting. Why did you not recommend the Pilatus? Max range... Oh, that's why the range is a bit short for what I'd be wanting. The Pilatus is incomplete, but it's $25. So of them, I'd probably want to go for something like the Epic Victory, which... It doesn't say what the range is, which is slightly uh, slightly frustrating. Now, it's Aero, Aero Bast do make some good stuff. I'll probably end up going for the, either the Citation or the, the Hawker.
This is what a ground speed of uh, 193 knots looks like, by the way. I didn't realize quite how low we are. At 4,000 feet! <laughs> Can I have approach mode now? Is it just gonna do circles? Just gonna do circles because it's confused. Go two two zero. This feels awfully low to be maneuvering at one hundred and eighty knots. Let's start getting the flaps out. And the only reason I'm slowing down is because we are quite insanely low. So there's going to be a dip in here, and that's going to be where we're going to be wanting to go. 1380 knock miles, that's not enough. So I'll probably go with um, the Hawker. The, the, uh, the, the, yeah, the Hawker then. Eclipse is also Airbus. Yeah, Hayden, you know what kind of ranges I'm looking at here, so... If, uh... If you have a recommendation that can deal with the range that I want... Or that I need for this... Um project, I'll call it, uh, that would be much appreciated. The Challenger and the Hawker. The Hawker looks the better of the two to me. Um, plus, oh, it's more expensive than the Challenger. I might get the Challenger then. Like, the Challenger is an interesting design as well. I do like Bombardier. Challenger has more. Uh, then it will be. Uh, I'll probably end up getting the Challenger then if uh, if that has slightly more range because that just allows me a bit of um, a bit of wiggle room really. Should be. We should have the localizer captured now, surely. That feels like I don't have the localizer captured. That is what a non capture looks like on the localizer. Challenger only has 100 nautical miles more. I mean, it's 100 nautical miles of, of wiggle room. Now that, that's some of the entire legs that I've done. It's 100 nautical miles. I'm going to take this in hand flying. Because... I don't trust this plane at all.
You're gonna bring it in full full flaps landing as well. Thing is, a hand this thing hand flies brilliantly. I love how it hand flies. It just doesn't do much else. Do I have an Xbox Game Pass? I don't even have an Xbox, dude. Let's get the gear going down. I have been... I am tempted. Um, problem is I don't know the golf screen that well. If it was a plane... Like, I'm more comfortable VAT simming with... Um, like, even a Cessna 172 at the moment. Because I, I want to know the plane... At least relatively well to go on Vatsim. Even the ILS doesn't work on this plane, I've just noticed. So, uh, yeah, I'm kind of glad that I tested this now, not on a long leg. It's like this leg has only been an hour or so, so. Not the worst thing in the world that it doesn't work. Approaching one, eight, left. Uh, speed brakes on this don't arm at all. They're just in or out, which sucks. Uh, so I'm just gonna go with max reverse. Um, hence why I've got max flaps. Is I'm just going for the aerodynamic drag that I can get. Too low. Can I get this down? It's just going to be a very dirty landing. I did say it'd be a very dirty landing. See, look, no need for the uh, no need for the speed brakes. Every tab. I at least landed on the runway that I intended to. I'm, I'm just gonna get to the nearest parking spot that's available. 
Because we're going to be swapping planes after this. Hey, DMF. 900 meters remaining. Um, I'll complete the flight. <laughs> Caution on taxiway, on taxiway. Never turned on the landing lights, which was quite stupid of me, but oh well. So you know, I'm not even going to finish this flight, I'm just going to quit X-Plane here, because I need to reboot X-Plane for Active Sky to work properly, because it, it's done a thing. Um, and what I'm going to do while I'm waiting for X-Plane to reload, which will take about five minutes, is... Uh, I'm going to run a couple ads for you guys, and... Uh, just turn off my... We'll just go to the BRB screen, I suppose. Because th there's nothing that you'll be able to see. So let's uh, just hop in here like this. Hello, MJ. So we're just going to wait for explain to load up here. And uh, I actually need to grab some stuff out of Active Sky, I've just realized. Because I need the briefing for the flight and I need to export the FMS plan here. The good thing about Active Sky is it does tend to be a bit nice. So what's our flight level going to be? Flight level 400, 40,000 feet, very nice. So we're taking the Cacares 1 Sierra departure. Uh, then leveling out of 40,000 feet at Cacares 1. Or, ca or at the Caca... Kakares, Kassares, whatever that is, waypoint. Onto Elvar, Exona, Ak and then taking the Exona 8 Alpha arrival into Lisbon. Uh, and I just want to see Vatsim here real quick to see if there's ATC around. Because the last thing I want is like ATC to pop online when I'm flying. Really. Um, and it's going to be. About an hour's flight, I would imagine. What's it claiming here? 1915? Yeah, just over an hour for this flight, it's claiming. So, not the worst ever. Also, not the best ever. Um. And this is going to be the first time that I'll be flying the Gulfstream, so I have no idea what I'm doing in terms of procedures or anything. So it could be very interesting. Let's just set that flight as active. And I want to hit fly now. Project fly, thank you. So, 
game's loaded up and uh, I've secretly been setting up here, so let's uh, get onto the live screen and confirm that. And we won't go real time because it's dark out and it's going to be even darker in Madrid. So we'll go with just the generic mid-afternoon flight here. Hayden, I'm going to need help with the Gulfstream setting this thing up. Because I've legit never flown this before. All I know is that I don't fire while the throttles as the engine engines explode. Is there any more important information you have for me regarding the Gulfstream? Because now is a good time to tell me this information. Because if I don't like the Gulfstream, I can always fly the, um... I guess the Cirrus to, to Morocco. <laughs> Just don't look behind the curtain. Okay. It's an interesting bit of advice to give me, but okay. It's modeled. That's slightly concerning. What's modeled? And someone has passed. Okay. <laughs> Very interesting information there. Um. Don't wake him up. Is this the kind of plane that I can do a barrel roll in? Right, oh crap. Right, where's the battery? Uh. <laughs> battery. Hey, there we go. Okay, next issue, where's the APU? APU's coming online. No? No what? Have I already done something wrong? No barrel roll. Okay. Why is it not letting me turn on the display? So have I... Am I missing something here? Why are the displays not wanting to come on? APU's online. I mean... APU must be selected. Where do I select APU?
I'm presuming it was auxiliary power. Uh, I've got it working now. Um, flight plan is L E M D uh, L P P T uh, Lima Echo Mike Delta Lima Papa Tango uh, Zero One, I believe it is. Yes. Departures. Departure is going to be the C it's CCS One Sierra, isn't it? Yes, the one Sierra. Off of runway. Uh, let's go off from one eight right. Or not. I guess. Cancel mod. Why is it not letting me choose the departure? I mean, let's try one I left. I, I guess we're going off one four right then. Um. And we're going to be climbing up to... Uh, 40,000 feet. Forty thousand and two feet, I suppose. Uh, runway one four right at Madrid is heading. Let's we'll scroll all the way down through this. La da 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 one four right is at heading one four three. I'm gonna set heading one four three here. Uh, TCAS is off, which is fine for now. Interestingly, I don't know how to turn that on, which is. Yeah, kind of a separate issue. Um, oh, it's going to be... Yep, there we go. So transponder standby before starting engines. Kind of realistically... Hey, there's an Air Lincus A320 over there. That's a nice bit of detail. Kaboom! I've not... Uh, uh, we need beacon and nav. Um, I don't need any of that. Seatbelts and... No smoking signs on. And I think... I think I can try now to figure out how to turn on the engines. Okay, so engines, engines, engine, engine start.
So let's get up to... Okay. That wasn't entirely terrible. Uh, I'm gonna want to tune into one two two decimal zero. Lima Echo Mike Delta Airport Information Lima one nine three zero Sulu weather wind one eight one at four visibility one zero thousand sky clear temperature one nine dupe. Lima Echo Mike Delta Airport Information Mike one nine three. This is zero. the same problem as the other plane. Weather wind one eight one at four. Visibility one zero thousand. Sky clear. Temperature one nine dew point minus two. Q and H one zero two four. Advise on initial contact. You have information. Mike. Lima, Echo, Mike, Delta, Airport Information, Mike, 1930, Zulu, Weather, Wind, 181, at 4, Visibility, 10,000, Sky Clear, Temperature, 19, Dew Point, Minus 2, Q and H, 1024, Advise on Initial Contact, you have information, Mike, which is Lima, Echo, Mike, three, Delta, zero, two, Airport three. Information, Mike, 1930, Okay, thank you for that. Three zero two three. Uh, I'm not on Vatsim, just because I don't know this plane well enough. Oh, it's going to be one of these annoying ones. Three zero two three. No. Um. APU can come off now. And the logo light can come on and taxi light can come on as we are about ready to go. I'm gonna bring up every tab just so that I can see where the hell I am and where I'm taxiing to. I'm not on the chart, that's super helpful. It's looking like I might be on the right taxiway, at least. Because this kind of curves up over in the direction that I want to be going. Yes, Kilo Alpha 9. Fantastic. Set VNAV and Caution on taxiway on taxiway on set VNAV Okay, setting VNAV was a bad idea. Um I set LNAV. There we go. Um, I 
engine start can go away. So it doesn't want to. Can I change that to fuel? Yes, I can. Fantastic. Ooh, I can see how my brakes are doing. Brakes? Doesn't appear to be working. Oh well. Um, I want to set a speed of like 220. If I can. There we go. Um. It's changed the altitude to minus one, which is decidedly not how high I want to be going today. I want to be going 40,000 feet. Forty thousand sixty-seven feet, apparently. Yeah, the runway we're going to be using is over there somewhere. So this is going to be a reasonably lengthy taxi. Yannis, if you want to talk about, um, if you're still here, if you want to talk about the WEC here, that's fine, because I kind of want updates. WEC is live currently from, uh, apparently the cars are starting in the back straight for some reason. Possibly because it's safer. Uh, live now from uh, Sebring in Florida. I believe Sebring's in Florida. Correct me if I'm wrong, Hayden. Uh, it is at an airport. It's an old World War II airfield, believe it or not. Uh, configured so that the airport is still functional while the race is ongoing. It's a, I believe it's a GA airport now. It's not really commercial. So there is some air. <laughs> there is some uh, relevance to flight sim. Because they're literally racing on taxiways. And I think an old runway section. I probably should have decided to take off four, one four left, but we're taking off one four right. <laughs> I believe we've planned one four left. All right, yeah, we've, we've planned one four right. I should have really planned one four left, but it's fine. We'll survive. Ooh, the controls in this are a bit, a bit sensitive. I'm gonna set flaps one for takeoff just for the sake of having some flaps in. Uh, yeah, 10 degrees is. Apparently, takeoff is at flaps two. With 20 degrees of flaps. That seems excessive for. Um, uh, how far is. How long is this runway? A four kilometer long runway, yeah, that seems quite excessive. When you are at altitude, we're at 2,000 feet. So 
So I'm not I'm not entirely sure. There we go. We're just gonna be following this outer set of taxiways here. Um and then I guess once we get up to this point, so it's gonna be a straight line we're gonna pass one one taxiway off to the left here which is this one upcoming and then we'll take the second left this gets really complicated in Madrid I don't like it I'm looking forward to the American airports where I plan hilariously small ones <laughs> I'm looking forward to the airports that I've planned that have like one taxiway. They're just like, here, it's an airport, you can land a plane here. I think we're going on this taxiway here? Yes, we are. This will bring us up to the threshold. And, you know, I am going to just for. Just for my own sanity, I'm going to uh, pump in another notch of flaps to what it's claiming is takeoff flaps. So there's the runway. Um. Approaching one four right. So I'm I'm not to fire all the throttles like I I usually do on takeoff. And not to do the uh, the usual takeoff roll. Okay, airport diagram come down because I'm to line on up runway, the wrong way here. One, four, right. Okay. Here we go. Eighty knots. Don't know what the VR is on this, but I'm gonna say it's about one thirty. Rotate. That wasn't the worst guess in the world. So let's go. L nav and V nav together here, and I can put in the flaps. Why is my altitude set back to minus one again? Okay, where's the autopilot button? Is there no autopilot button? There we go. Set the speed to two three zero if I can't. I can't. That's fine. I didn't firewall. I know I didn't firewall. You told me not to firewall, so I didn't firewall. Believe it or not, Aiden, I do occasionally listen to what you have to say. Like you distinct told me, do not do not under any circumstances firewall the throttle. So I didn't firewall the throttle. 
Hey, Patty. Can I hide the... The oak? Hey, there we go. Let's engage the old amper. And I want to go direct to, I guess, CCS. It's going to be direct intercept, isn't it? Yes. And execute. Uh, I want to intercept CCS at... I'm not allowed to do that. Okay, can I change it here? Entry allowed. Oh, uh, we should be fine. Blaine's doing a disturbing amount of not wanting to turn at the moment. Which is fine, because I can just head heading select it to where I want it to go. Uh, and Barrow needs to be set to standard. So it won't let me. No entry allowed. Because my oh my alt select is there. Because. Why have I just lost avionics? It's because I still had set to auxiliary power and not the engine power. Whoops. Autopilot panel. Yeah, it's set to 39999. We're fine. I forgot to set that to mode, mode Charlie. Is it because I had that set wrong? By any chance? Is this going to bring me northwest again? Or is it just kind of doing some sort of. I mean, the heading to where I want to go is is set. Why is it bringing me on a completely different heading? Oh, 
Oh, because it was intercepting the actual. Okay. For after stream. Today's video happened after yesterday's stream. I'm doing good, MJ. How are you doing? How goes the problem solving with uh, Peter Vale? So we can turn off the seatbelt landing, uh, seatbelt light. Uh, right about now, and we should be good. Hey, Jameson. Probably should have done that. It's fine, though. So going at a ground speed of... I saw it there somewhere. 396 knots. So we are fairly cruising along. I do like this golf stream, I will admit. Didn't try that with yours. Feel free to ask me for help as well, MJ. Don't don't feel like you can't. Um Like I might not know all the answers, but I can try. Look in the back. Okay, let's look in the back and see what's going on back here. So Vladimir Putin's asleep. Captain Polygon here is staring into my soul. And thoughtful yellow jumper lady is very confused by lights. Not sure why. Oh, good lord. Hello, other man. You might be a woman. I'm not sure, judging by that chat. You might well be a woman. Do you have... An insane chat? Okay, that... That's actually a woman. <laughs> I should have known that because she's the twin of Yellow Jumper Lady. She is also seemingly confused by lights. We'll switch by the cockpit in the main cabin. Okay. Main cabin. Switch by the cockpit. Why did you want me to do that? Why did you want me to open the... the door at 23,000 feet? I mean, somehow, I, I don't think there is, um, I don't think this thing pressurizes at all. Oh, it does. That probably didn't help. Well, you know if you tell me, oh, there's a switch, try and find it, I'm gonna click it. Are you actually on Vatsim, by the way, Aiden? Because I can open up Vatspy real quick and uh, have a look. Uh, Axe Blank is flying Iberian 3 1 Tango. Tango? You're not on. You're not on Vatsim. You closed your flight, yeah. 
Well, Iberian 3 1 Tango Tango is at 28,000 feet, and I think I'm actually. If I was on Vatsim, I'd be following him by now. Um, I think for the Morocco leg, I will actually turn on, uh, or switch on to Vatsim. Because I want to do that tonight as well. And then I'll go down and make myself something to eat and record a video for tomorrow. Where's the ident button? Is there an ident button? The ident button... Oh, it does work. Hey, Paul. How you doing today, dude? So, ident works. I could I could fly this on Vatsim. Except... <laughs> Except Lisbon Approach, Departure, and Ground have all just come on at once. Lisb Lisbon's just literally just got ATC. How are you doing? I'm doing good. There's got to be some sort of event going on in Ireland that Shannon, uh, Shannon, Cork, and Dublin all have approached departure and tower online. And clearance deliveries online in Dublin. Yeah, something's going on there. That is too much ATC to be on at once for it to be a, a coincidence. Ooh. It's St. Patrick's Day event. Of course it is! Why didn't they do that Sunday? I might do a flight into... <laughs> I might do a flight out of Dublin later after the stream if they're uh, still online. Yeah, completely forgot St. Patrick's Day is Sunday. That would explain why literally all of the ATC is online and in uh, Ireland. Interestingly, it doesn't look like Eurocontrol West is online, which would control um, the higher airspace. 7 to 10. I'll miss it. No! Which leg am I on? I'm on the... Um, good call, by the way, Paul. I'm on the Madrid to Lisbon leg currently. Uh, and I need to... Uh... I need to actually edit the map. Because Andorra is now complete. The France to Andorra leg is now complete. The Andorra to Spain leg is now complete. Uh, Madrid Barajas has now been reached. And I'm just going to put in the Spain-Portugal leg in that horrific yellow. Yellowy-orange colour that I've been using. So how does this look on the entire route map? I mean, it's visible, but it's it's barely scratching the surface of the route. Um, I still haven't updated it since last week, or since Monday. We'll have a pint of Guinness on Sunday for St. Patrick's Day. I don't know if there's Guinness in the house. Is the problem. Because uh, I'm home alone effectively for the weekend. I might have a glass of whiskey. On Sunday there's an event for VRAM. GMMT to Elgav. Yeah.
I don't know why we've kind of stalled out at, uh... Have I just turned off autopilot? Wow, Auto Throttle wants to kill the engines, that's amazing. Okay, let's just turn off VNAV for now. Turn on vertical speed. Like that. And just very carefully move the throttle. We seem to be descending. VNAV can go back on. And auto throttle. No, no auto throttle. I did know that I saw the testing list. Why is the plane bouncing? Aiden, would you care to explain why the hell this is a thing? Black box, box from Ethiopia was sent to France. Yeah, I saw that. Why is the... Is it that my airspeed's too low? Okay, that's a, as absolutely fast as I can get the engines to spool. I'm not entirely sure why the plane's struggling to make altitude here. Oh, still exceeded RPM. Hopefully we'll get yeah, hopefully we'll get answers. Um I think the grounding of the 7-3 Max is It's reactionary, true, but it's a good reaction. It's much better to... I'll say this to you, Hayden. It's much better to ground a perfectly fine plane than to... run the risk with passengers on one that's potentially dangerous. I still have flaps up. Or down. That might explain why the speed has been a bit odd. <laughs> I'll probably end up watching the highlights. How many flights are going into Dublin for the event? Holy cow! I could fly out of Cork for the event. Because Cork, or fly into Cork from, say, 
Madrid. Would you guys like me to just abandon the tour after this leg and do um, a 737 flight from Madrid to Cork? Or even Lisbon, um, even Lisbon to Cork. It'll be on Vatsim. I want to take part in the event in Cork is uh, the quietest airspace currently. I could also go Shannon. I could go like um, Paris Shannon or something. Because I would like to do the. I do would like to. Fly Vatsim with ATC. I've decided this today. In Zebo, in Zebo. To be fair, Hayden, you, you can agree with me here. Zebo is a pay work quality 737. That is. I know there's the, the, the other one as well. Uh, and Zebo is a 737-800X, so it is fine and safe. Will I stream that? Yeah! Can't guarantee PG because of um, the active radios, but I could definitely stream it. Well, there's the problem! Why are you doing that trip? I can't turn on trim dampener, can I? Is there a way to turn that on? I could probably turn off the crank. And the ignitions. And the igniters, even. Why are you doing this? Also... What? What on earth? I'm gonna set the arrival! <laughs> um, which is gonna require me to tune in... 1 to 2, 0 to 5. Lima, Papa, Papa, Tango, Airport Information, Papa, 2, 0, 0, 0, Zulu, Weather, Wind, 3, 1, 2, at 7, Visibility, 1, 0, 1000, Sky Clear, Temperature, 1, 8, Dew Point, 9, QNH, 1, 0, 2, 3, Advice on Initial Contact, You Have Information, Papa, Lima, Papa, Papa, Tango, Airport Information, Papa, 2, 0, 0, 0, Zulu, Weather, Wind, 3, 1, 2, at 7, Visibility, 1, 0, 1000, Sky Clear, Temperature, 1, 8, Dew Point, 9, QNH, 1, 1, 0, 2, 3, Advice on Initial Contact, You Have Information, Via Papa, Lima, Papa, Papa, Tango, Airport Information, Papa, okay, 2, 0, 0, zero, Thank zero Thank Zulu, you. Weather, Thank Wind. You. Uh, running to one, uh, what? Out of curiosity, what did the flight plan briefing say that I wanted? I don't know. Um, our last waypoint is Exona. 
So we're arriving 2 1. And can I take an Exona? No. So I want to load up. I guess log Zulu. Oh, that's Zulu 2 1. There we go. And then kind of look at the arrivals available here. So the boost for Romeo is not what I want. Uh, the two boost and arrivals not what I want. How about Gaio? Gaio for Delta? That's the one that I want. Gaio for Delta. Invalid entry clear. Okay. Is it just... Okay, that'll do. Um, I want to be going down now. To say thirty three hundred feet. This descent is a tad bit extreme. Let's get the speed brakes out to arrest the the speed a bit. Select the start, then the approach. Okay, let's do that. Okay, so it's the What approach did I say I wanted now? Guys, for Delta? And you just realized it actually brings me in from the south. Yeah, that'll do. Guys, for Delta. Doesn't appear to be there anymore. There it is. Okay, just double check the legs. Okay. Execute that. Execute that to get rid of all the discontinuities. We are now inexplicably climbing. Can I just hold altitude, please? Will that be something you're willing to do, plane? Somehow, we didn't stall! I want to clear vectors as well. Oh, that's a good point. Uh, delete vectors. That's the only vectors actually there. So let's get that. Okay, let's remove altitude hold and try and get down to seven thousand if we can. If the plane wants to be, I mean, on the bright side, it stopped wobbling. No, it's not. <laughs> I'm presuming that dot there is top of descent. Can I descend now by any chance? The yeah, top of descent is in 2.6 miles before Exona, which is in 3.7 miles. Uh. <laughs> this plane wants to kill me! Every 
every time I go into the menus, it does something weird. Every single time I go into the menus, it does something weird that I don't like. Um, also, on Vatsim, I will be using real time just because it's. Uh, it looks better, I guess. How's the cabin altitude doing? They're at 7,500 feet. They're not dead somehow. <laughs> Probably terrified, but not dead. That's, uh... Just because it's me, turn on the seatbelt sign. <laughs> I decided I don't like the Gulf stream. <laughs> it's a bit too murderous for my taste, Satan. So I'm gonna abandon the Morocco leg. I can actually change the title there. Oh, right now. Uh, Portugal. Also, Zebo uh, into like Shannon. That's it. There we go. I'm gonna be Ryanair after this flight. So my bad landings make sense. Pitch wheel. Stop it, please. We have a 33 knot headwind, which isn't actually all that bad. We are, however, about to start descent, and I'm slightly terrified. Oh, hands off while this does its descent. Because this is going to be hideous, I'm presuming. I can only presume this is going to be something hideous. I'm hoping it doesn't do something truly atrocious. Okay, here we go. I hit zero vertical speed. We're now descending. The pitch wheel is still having some sort of weird party. We are now, we are now officially descending. You can see that our altitude is de is decreasing. It's just doing some weird sort of party descent, and I'm not sure why. I'll probably get the bombardier.
It is definitely the, no the, the pitch wheel making the nose of the plane go up and down. Um, like when the pitch is doing this, it means the nose of the plane is going to be bouncing. Uh, the problem is, I have no idea why the pitch wheel is doing this. Also, I've just realized I'm going to need the um, ILS frequency here. Uh, 109.5. And that needs to be on nav 1, so... 109.5. And set nav 1 there. You can also bring back the yoke, so that you can see that the plane is doing absolutely nothing yoke-wise. And for some reason the heading is different than this. That's... Why is that different to that? It's because the FMS is different. Why is there three of why are there three FMSs in this? I'm so confused by this plane. So I need to decide where we want to take off from. I'm thinking we'll take off Madrid and go into Shannon. Um, in fact... Cheap flights to Shannon. Um... I could go full ATC and go for Manchester. Or from... I'm presuming the, uh, the London Chandler is from Stansted. Gatwick! As well. I could go from Gatwick. Or I could go from East Midlands and just deal with not having ATC for the first part. Unless you're supposed to look, join London Control, but I don't know what you want to join. Um, I could also go... from... So most of these are really f quite distant. But that has Kaunas. I guess I get some Poland. Hayden, yes. Depart from Lisbon. I mean, I could, but I want to do a real world flight. What skins do I have for Zebo? Because I might have one that would fit. Um, I mean, I could always go KLM. There's no rule saying that I have to be Ryanair. And I could still, I guess I could still be Ryanair from Lisbon. And just be like, hey, we're on a new route. 
Um. Hey, dude. I should go flights to Shannon. Let's see what goes in there. Shannon arrivals. Reiner and Air Lingus, basically. There's a flight from Newark coming in at. Uh, quarter past eight tomorrow morning. Actually, if I fly Ryanair, I might actually be able to... I could fly from Alicante. That'll be kind of an interesting one. I think I'll fly from Alicante. Just so that I have a real Ryanair flight number. This is this is the thing that I want is I want a real fly Ryanair flight number and Alicante is uh, I think there's somebody else doing this flight Edinburgh Edinburgh I think there's somebody else doing the flight into Shannon from Alicante Nope Is it controlled? Alicante is not controlled currently uh, which would mean the first control I get would probably be London Centre. Unless the flight plan takes me out into the uh, Dublin control, or Shannon Control airspace. Um, which I'd be fine with, honestly. I don't necessarily need to leave with, with full ATC. It's more I want to fly into the, the event and Shannon is the quietest of the airports. Because um, Cork has quite a few flights coming in. Shannon only has four currently. I see Ikeo, um, Lima Echo Alpha Lima. See you, Paul. Lima Echo Alpha Lima. There's two. Um, Reiner 8 Victors, there's 8 Victor Alpha and 8 Victor Kilo going to Edinburgh. Yep. Lima Echo Alpha Lima. L E A L. To uh, Echo India November, November. I'm actually going to book that flight right now. This is the joy of Project Fly. I can start setting up the booking. Uh, -E L. No, A -E L. I can't take to Shannon. And we're going to be flying Ryanair. It's like a three hour flight though. That's going to be way too long. I'm not going to, I'm not going to depart at I can't I'm going to depart Manchester. Change of plan, we're departing Manchester. Um... With Ryanair four seven seven six, and I'll choose my Ryanair. F uh, everything. Departure time is not gonna. Be, uh, departure time is gonna just be left open like that. Fahi calls. What does Fahi want? Admin room on Discord. <laughs> Book a dispatch. I'm gonna just use auto sim brief here. It'll give me all the details I'll need. Maps temporarily disabled. Briefing 
I mean, that's fine without the maps, honestly. As long as I get a flight plan, that's fine. Uh, so Aiden, flight plan is basically going to be uh, just looking at Vatsim here. I'm presuming Manchester Tower would provide clearance. And then Manchester Control, London Centre, whatever they want us to go there. Um, Shannon Centre. And then Shannon Approach into Shannon Tower. Um, you're gonna have to let me know how this is gonna work on Vatsim, because I, Hayden is going to be leading this flight, this next flight, because I have never used Vatsim voice before. In fact, I'm gonna have to double check that I've got it set up correctly. So I'll just do that right now. Uh, plugins, X Squawk Box, Setup Audio, Input is correct, Output is correct, Output 2 is correct, Setup Mic. Uh, so I'm going to have to be silent here real quick. Uh, speaking in a normal tone of voice for five seconds after the test is complete, you'll see the results of your test. Hayden! Noise level is high as your voice level environment is more noise than expected. Reduce the noise in the room or get a microphone better suited for voice. Excuse me? <laughs> that is horrific. Can I change the... Can I change that to direct sound? Aiden, you're gonna need to tell me what on earth I'm gonna need to do here. Because I have no idea. My mic set up to pass the test. Okay, it was just... Aiden, you're gonna need to tell me what on earth I'm gonna need to do here. Because I... Yes. Okay, so that's actually my mic set up for Vatsim, and you might notice the Vatsim codec is horrific. That's why I'm a bit, uh... reticent, a bit, a bit apprehensive. Match tower approach... Unicom? No Unicom, London Control's online. It'll be tower approach, London Control, Shannon Control, Shannon Approach, Shannon Tower, but, um, I'm presuming that Chan uh, the Manchester Tower will be the one delivering, um, clearances? Only a certain sector. Ah! Would it not be London... I'm not sure what you're seeing, Hayden, but I'm seeing London con um... I'm guessing London Central, East, North, South, and West are all online. <laughs> For London Control. I'm pretty sure that's all the sectors. Um, and Shannon Control, interestingly, is just one giant sector. There's two sectors, but one is higher level. Let's see what Vatastic's saying. I don't know how to use the fantastic map. That is not what Vatspy is telling me. 
Um, Vatspy is telling me that all sectors are currently online. Also, we seem very high to be making this approach. What is the... Intercept altitude here, 4,000. I don't know why they decided this needs to go down in 10s, but it's going down in 10s. Uh, so, at the Lyra NDB we need to be at 4,000 feet, then at UpCat we're starting our descent. And our heading for that is going to be 206. So let's just um, pop this into real time so that you can see how dark it is. Or how, how nice. I, I feel this looks amazing at night. It also, in theory, gets me more FPS. Because <laughs> it's not rendering as much. It's <laughs> I've just gained 10 FPS by making it dark. This is how wonderfully weird X-Plane can be. Like... I got 33 FPS currently. I'm actually gonna leave Avitab open for this. 35 FPS. If I just make it bright, that's the only change I'm gonna make. We're suddenly at... You can see the FPS just dumping down. But if it's, if it's dark and if it's real time, I can actually see the runway better. Uh, so we're going to do this, because it makes life a bit easier for me. Also, the uh, trim wheel has kind of calmed down. It's now only making small little adjustments. Which is what it should have been making the entire time. Exactly how bad does this look on YouTube, by the way? Just out of curiosity. You guys can't see an awful lot, can you? Do you want me to move it back to daytime? Or is there... a way to... Turn on like a a floodlight would be nice, or dome, lead air. Dome light would be really nice right now. In fact, is there no dome in this plane? Is there actually no dome light in this plane? Trying to find a dome like control for you guys. I'm a ground spoiler. It's 
Because we're definitely going to need that with this landing. This is going to be a... Uh, there is no dome light. Right. Well, let's... Turn up the floods. The floods are better. Floods make it so you guys have a half chance at seeing things. Still slightly concerned by the fact we're 12,000 feet still. Um. Look, I'm presuming we'll be fine to hit Papa Tango 415 at uh, or above 7,000 in 7 nautical miles. But at Papa Tango 411 in 10 nautical miles, we have to be at 5,500, which doesn't sound like it's possible. Can I turn on the pulsing? Oh. Can't turn on pulsing landing lights. On the bright side, I do. I do have Zebo set up. Um, Manchester is not under center control. On VAT map. Whereas under. Yeah, according to VAT Spy. Um. Manchester is. Presumably under London West Control. Unless that is London City West Control, which is decidedly possible. The plane has now decided we need to be a bit faster on the whole going down thing. There's a FedEx plane going into Shannon! That's adorable! Most likely is. That is distinctly possible. We'll find out when we get into the air, I guess. And outside of the Manchester control zone. If we end up having to go to Unicom, that's going to be bloody painful around... D oh, we will, we'll be off Unicom before we hit uh, 1228. The actual frequency for 1228, not the auto ATC. You found what airline you will be using. What airline will you be using? What am I saying about your hometown? Myself and Hayden are trying to figure something out and it's not working very well. Also, the plane is inexplicably just after... Oh, it's turned off. Why is it turned off LNAV and VNAV? Can I go to PT411, please? Execute. I mean, I, I guess we're vectoring. Because for some reason, the, uh, Nav doesn't want to work properly. UPS triple seven here. Oh my god. Why? You could also go for something like a Titan 74. They fly in to that uh, Shen quite frequently. Um, FedEx flies, I think, 7.4s in. It's usually Titan. They also fly 7.3s. Titan flies 7.3s, I should say. So, is that approach mode on? 
let's enable approach mode here. Hopefully it'll stay on heading select, it will. I want to go into speed mode if I can. Won't let me. Let's get all the throttle back ar armed. You have no 74F. Fair enough. And the trim wheel's doing the thing again. That is presumably our airport. We are f far too high. Take autopilot off here. Turn approach mode back on. Just have the flight director on. Because I'm. That's not our airport. But we do need to descend, which. is decidedly necessary. So if I fly heading 180. Okay, we're on track there, mostly. There's our airport. I'm just going to follow the flight director for now. It's looking like I'll actually miss the uh, event. Because it's an hour and 15 minute flight and there's still, there's, it's going to take me 20 minutes odd to set up and it's currently 9.13 so I might uh, I might miss the event but we're still going to go on VATSIM and see if we can get lucky here it's looking like I can just turn the autopilot back on and it'll actually do what I want here I'm not sure why VNAV isn't working but that's fine I guess Explain to that poop audio, that's fine. It's looking like we're starting to get localizer. We're still on flaps one, correct? Flaps one, yes. So that's where we're flying into. That's the runway right there. 
Um, can't see the pop age lights just yet, which is fine. And I'm hoping that Elna will want to work at some point soon. Approach mode arm. <sighs> okay, spoilers are armed. Uh, flaps are gonna go down. Rebic is good, throttle is good, gear is up currently, but we'll go down. What's the trim wheel doing? I have no idea, it's just it's just being its best trim wheel. It wants it wants to party. So let's see if I can pull in more flap about now. We're gonna have to take off flap. Which does seem to be dampening the trim wheel quite nicely actually. Next step is gonna be uh, bringing down the gear. Which I'll do now. That was reversers, not the gear. Never hit the reversers in midair. Gears down. Gonna stop onto speed mode. Won't let me. And flaps three. The ILS doesn't seem to be working. ILS doesn't seem to be working. If I set source nav one real quick. ILS non-functional, we're going in manually with no auto throttle. Why is the trim set so insane? I've just trimmed it up! We are stalling currently. trim to be set. Is the trim wheel still working automatically? Trim down, trim down, trim down, trim down. That's too much down. I am extremely high, yes. It's fine though, because we're making a uh, tactical approach. We're, we're making a combat approach now, which is basically... Dive it down. 
and hope that we'll get on the runway. It's not even going down fast enough. We don't have enough elevator authority. I'm gonna make an S turn. So this is a little trick you can use. Altimeter setting. Altimeter setting shouting at me. Everything's shouting at me. We're now still too high. Another S turn will do. Come on, get down. Which <laughs> This thing. Too high. Too high. Yes, I know we're too high. I'm gonna just. I'm gonna do a ridiculous spiral here to try and just level out a bit. And. Uh, see if we can't get aligned with the runway this way. We're at a thousand feet and basically 90 degrees. Okay, there's the runway. Too high. Perfect. Too high. Long landing, long landing, 2,400 meters remaining, 2,100 remaining, 1,800 remaining, 1,500 remaining, 1,200 remaining, 900 remaining. Not dead. <laughs> that was a truly atrocious landing. Um, and what I'm going to have to do now is really quickly go to Manchester and turn on Squawk Box. So we're just going to count that as a flight, and... Hop into our Ryanair 737, and Golf Charlie Charlie. Uh, customize position... Let's go to position... Uh, No, I don't want the camera control terminal. Let's go position 10. So I'm flight. Okay. Where am I at the moment? That was Lisbon. Very quickly. We'll see it properly next time. Because I now want to try and do a Vatsim flight. Um, and I should have gone around there. It's fine. That was the worst landing I've done in quite a while, but it's fine. We're now on. We're now doing the. Uh, just because I'm trying to rush it to get in before ATC leaves. Um, and it looks like Towers actually just swapped over to somebody else, so we might be in luck here, in Shannon. Um. That might be an idea, Hayden. You're gonna have to wait for the aircraft to load, but that might be an idea. Because I can't do anything while this is loading, because Discord and everything is underneath the X-Plane screen. And Hayden, you know the rules uh, for streams. Um, I think you should have... I might hop into the admin room, actually. 
um, in Discord so we don't have to do a private call and other admins can hop in. What I'm going to do real quick is just go BRB for five minutes while, or for a few minutes, while um, explain loads because it will take a little bit. And uh, I'll mute the mic briefly as well. Just so they can do a stretch and be saying non PG things. So I'll be back in a second. As you can hear, my Boeing 737 has loaded in. I need to check some stuff uh, before I can bring up screens and stuff for you guys. That's more than enough fuel. And uh, just want to make sure that I'm set to one, two, two, eight hundred. Echo Golf Charlie Charlie. We'll be listening to Human Atus in a minute. Uh, connect and it is oop operation complete delete yeah I've just screwed everything up I have screwed everything up here. So I'm just gonna do this again real quick so that I got. Yes, that is all correct. Reef and new flight. Um, Hayden, yes, you're in the admin room. Sweet. I'll hop in, in a second. Um, I'm trying to set up Project Fly stuff. This is a terrible idea. Okay, so it's, uh, my four, seven, seven, six. BRB screen is up now because it's showing my real name, so... Ryanair livery... Is there an alternate? No. Call sign in use. Let's go for Ryanair for 
seven seven Quebec. Somebody else is doing this flight now. Oh, there he is. Who's the git? I can't complain. He's got the same first name as me. Um. <laughs> So we're going to be flying as... I'm going to have to write this down so that I don't forget and ignore the radio by mistake. If I can find my pen or a pen, any pen will do, that pen will do. We're going to be flying as... Uh, this pen will not do, apparently. It is not working. Non-functional pen. Pen problems. Aha! Pen. So we are... Yeah, of all the things. Ryanair 477 Quebec. And, uh. How's my weight and balance looking? That looks fine. I have a button set for Toga. I've. I know that you guys still can't see anything, I just can't remember what the toga is. Button 6. Which one's button 6? No, oh, that's a flaps button. It must be one of these two. Ah, it's that one. So let's hop into the live screen. And what I'm going to do is I'm going to just set up the flight plan here real quick on the FMC. Uh, FMC position in it is Echo Golf Golf Charlie and it's not Echo Golf Golf Charlie, it's Echo Golf Charlie Charlie. And we're position two oh I think we're at position two oh eight. Ten. Position one zero. And uh, let's get the panels nice and bright for you guys. We're on ground power, which is fine. Yeah, that was a dumb idea. Uh, and our route today is going to be Echo Golf Charlie Charlie to Echo India November November. Uh, flying the export, X-Plane 11, export, yes, uh, is there one for Squawk Box? It's not, there's one for Squawk Box, interestingly. I don't know how to use that, so I'm not going to. I'm going to load the briefing. We're E... G, C, C, E... I, N, N, 0, 1. Is our routing. We are... Ryanair... 477 Quebec. We'll activate that and execute that. And grab the clearance. Fair enough. Um, and I'm gonna bring up the B screen again real quick because I can't remember if uh, Squawk Box shows my real name when I send a flight plan. It does not, but that's fine. 738. And it is. Uh, EGCC. I can show you guys this. Yeah, and then uh, alternate is what's my alternate? Why is my alternate in England? Okay.
Cruising altitude is gonna be... 360, which is odd, but okay. 360. Um, can I just set that to zero? It's a one hour 45 minute flight, I believe. One hour 15. And we have fuel for significantly more than that. Our route is... Uh, this is where I get very confused. I pre-file that in Vatsim so they can just copy the route from there. So control A just puts in a space, which is interesting. Just paste the route in. And we will send... True airspeed is actually going to be... 453. Uh, Estimated time on route is 1 hour 8. Which is interesting. Fuel on board is. Let's say 3 hours 2, that's fine. In fact, no, let's change this. Um, Hayden, if you're about. Could you, in fact, I can hop into the admin room now? Hello. 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 There we go. Um, do you know if Simbrief gives you weights in kilos or pounds? It's toggleable between the two. What's the default? Because I haven't changed it. Default is kilos. Kilos, good. I need, I need to change my fuel weight. Fuel weight is actually 6.8. So 6.9 actually. No, I don't want minus 6.8. <laughs> 9. Here we go. Um, and that's fuel for... How long is this? 247. That seems a bit extreme, but okay. Um, do I want to grab clearance first? I'm presuming I have to tune into tower for clearance. Uh, that would be the case. And he'll give you clearance via your star, and then he'll tell you a squat code. Yeah, I just want to Show who's online. There we go. See, I told you all the London controls were online. Or at least the big clatter of them. I'm gonna just pause the music because I'm so very confused right now. <laughs> um, I'm gonna want to do my. I'll do some performance calculations first, just to make sure that everything's good. Won't give me takeoff or anything, but it'll... No, I don't want the speed brakes out. Uh, gross... Zero fuel weight is 47.1. Uh, my reserves... Are three zero eight nine, so three point one. Cost index. What's the cost index on this flight? Twenty eight. Nice cost index. My cruising altitude is three six zero. Planned. 
It's gonna scream at me. You cannot do cruising altitude. It's it. I know it's going to scream at me. You cannot do cruising altitude. Oh, it hasn't screamed at me. It's not that I can't do cruising altitude. Um. <laughs> I'm really regretting this decision, by the way. I don't want to go on Vats and Voice yet. I don't feel like I'm good enough yet. I really want to just end the stream here and just be like, yeah, done. And then do, like, Vats and Voice off, off stream. Because I feel like I'll be... In like, I am so damn shy. And, like, don't want to talk to people. Ironically enough, I was the same way. Yeah, plus I want to wait until the new, the new codec. Like, whenever that comes, whatever year that comes, I want to wait till the new codec, because it doesn't sound like butts. It doesn't sound like people talking through some sort of trombone while farting into a microphone. At 5,000 miles an That's hour. That's quite the accurate description there. <laughs> But it, 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 like, that's what the codec is. It is terrible. It's one of the reasons I don't, I don't want to do Vats and Voice, is the codec is atrocious. Um, I'm make, I'm trying to make my mind up, because I do want to grab something to eat, and it is 10 o'clock, almost. I haven't had uh, dinner yet, and I need to record still. And I have been live for three and a half hours. That's also something I need to try and take into... Yeah, I'm gonna end the stream and actually not do this flight. As annoyed as people are gonna get for for this. I don't want to use VAT AT, VATS and ATC just yet. I'm not ready for it. Um, just in my own mind, I'm not ready. Uh, so I'm gonna disconnect from VATS and... Um, on... On the... Uh, Explain here. Yeah, I'm not ready for Vatsim ATC. I'm not going to do the event. Uh, because I've been live for three and a half hours. I need to grab something to eat. I need to record for tomorrow. And I need to uh, actually start working on stuff that I need to do tomorrow instead of streaming. So that I might try and get a stream out on FarmSim. Uh, so that's going to do it for today. I'm going to meet my, myself up here and just step myself. You can get do the flight if you still want to. And I'm presuming you're now kind of locked into it because you got clearance. <laughs> So I apologize. My nerves have got the better of me. Um, oh. I really shouldn't have... He's just said something to me now. I regret muting. Um, I should maybe turn off that sound. Yeah, that's gonna do it, guys. Hope you enjoyed. I do apologize for the fake out on Vatsim. Uh, my nerves got the better of me. The new codec is out? It is... We'll talk about this after the stream, because I'm, uh, I'm prioritizing food here, because I'm quite hungry. I do need to cook and record. And all this kind of stuff. Uh, so it's prioritizing myself right now, instead of the stream. Is that sound in real life on the plane? I... Uh, I'll maybe come on Vatsim later, Hayden. And we can go on a discrete frequency and, and chat or something. Um, just so I can get an idea of what the codex like. I might need to update my squawk box. But that is, um... Yeah, gonna do it for today. Hope you enjoyed. Until next time, stay safe. And goodbye.